This is Axis and Allies 1914 on the Two or Less channel and video number 1T1. It's turn number six. We are with Austria Hungary and they are buying themselves simply a few more infantry than artillery. Um, the big aircraft buy that they happened beforehand for Moscow didn't work out very well. I've got no reason to think that the um, Hasberg phone will be um, drawn into that battle again. Uh, there's been some decision making, there's been some negotiations uh, with Germany because of what's going to happen in, in Moscow now. It, it's going to fall. That, <laughs> I've been promising this for about 10 months, <laughs> but it's going to fall this go. Um, I'll show you the, the for why and the battle and we'll do that in a sec. There is the battle. We have Ivan and the Terrible in Moscow trying to defend it. Um, the negotiation is going to be that the Austria-Hungarians are going to move their units in from the Ukraine, just a couple, just so they, if they're going to lose a unit to a, a, a Russian dice roll, it's not going to be one of the expensive ones. Um, but they're going to forego the ownership of that and Germany would take control of that region because Germany are going to be slightly nearer to getting through to Paris. That's the plan. The other option would have been that um, Austria-Hungary take the six IPCs and can rip their way down through Italy um, with it as extra money. It's, it's a possibility, but I think that um, Germany getting through to Paris is possibly more important for, for the um, central powers. And they've got a the bigger battle on their hands with France coming through to them UK coming through and now obviously those damn Yankees coming through as well. So the other movements we're going to be doing is just movements. We're going to be shipping these guys forward from Vienna into Tyrolia. Two of the guys are going to go into Trieste and two of the guys from Trieste are going to go into Serbia. So they end up there on the shuffle. It's just to, to stop these Italians having a, a, a free walk through. Um, but we're not going to be battling in Tyrolia, we're just reinforcing that region. Um, I think, oh, fat fingers, I think because uh, if I could move all units in there without shuffling this way, we stand a, a good chance of winning it. Um, but I think just taking those two less is going to upset the balance there. Uh, we will put the buy straight in here now, out of sequence. Don't tell anybody, I won't get in trouble then. And then we roll the battle up in Moscow. Here it is on the board, ready to go. They have air superiority, they're not really going to need it, but it in it gives them a boost to their artillery, it gives a boost to their infantry. The plane has a go first at twos and misses. The two big artilleries go booming in at fours and get just the one hit. And the two artillery, two infantry, sorry, at threes, and they get one more hit as well. So that is Moscow has fallen in reply, two at three from the Russians, and Ivan gets a hit at two. Um, that'll be done and dusted. The money will go to, to Germany. We'll put their round on it. And um, next up won't be the Russian turn because Russia has fallen. It will be Germany and their big decision making about pushing forward or reinforcing their borders. With Russia's absence on uh, this turn now, apart from a couple of boats in the Med that are just going to sit here and, and act as protection, they could go into the Adriatic and take on the Austria-Hungarians, but there's, there's no real point in that. Um, we are on to Germany's turn very quickly. Um, the other advantage with, that, with the Germans taking the Moscow region is they get the money as well that was in the Moscow vaults and can apply that immediately to their purchase. Big purchase, 50-odd IPCs, couple of tanks, couple of planes, infantry artillery. Um, there's not going to be any dice rolling uh, for Germany this turn. It's, again, it's a bit of a, a, a reinforcement go, but um, there's a lot coming their way. So let's show, show you what they're going to be doing, and I'll tidy it all up before um, we do any more rolls later on. 
over here in Moscow. The crew here are going to leave Moscow, and why not indeed, and move into Livonia and grab some IPCs. We're going to leave the austria hungarians to, to look after this, this region, and they can come down and grab some if the Brits don't come up. Obviously, um, they have their own problems with the Ottomans in, in their regions. So, over, over in Germany itself, they have a, a supply line issue from Berlin. They've got to get into Kiel, into Denmark, possibly, not sure about that too much, but certainly into Holland to help reinforce here, and into the Ruhr, and into the Munich region. Um, so basically, all we're going to be doing this time is we're going to take the units that are in Hanover, we're going to split them um, roughly 50-50, but with the tanks coming, I think, um, to, the, to the region with the most infantry, which is going to be um, the Ruhr. Um, everything else will be split, infantry and artillery coming down to, to the Munich region. And we're probably going to be flying this plane down to Munich as well, because I think it's got, got good advantages with the number of artillery that's going to end up in that region. Um, it may look slightly emptier than you think. This here is Belgium. It has one token on here, one of my homemade um, marshalling yards, fleet yards, whatever you want to call them. Because in Belgium here is this bunch whole lot of Brits, whole lot of Americans, and some French. Um, it's going to put a heck of a lot of pressure on this Ruhr region. Um, that, I think, is where we're going to be sort of focusing most of the battles later on uh, in this turn. So I shall tidy the board up, and uh, after the Germans will be the French and see how hard they want to push in this turn. It's taken me a little while to work out exactly what we're going to do with France because it's a bit complicated over in uh, Europe. But simpler battles are what's going to happen down south first. Remember these guys, the Africa Corps? They're getting on these boats again, going one, two into sea zone 28. They can reinforce Transjordan and possibly launch an attack now next time, putting even more pressure onto the Ottomans. That's that one. Uh, up in the um, North Atlantic, the French transporter is going to move one, two sea zones. Um, and with the British crew still on board, they can't quite get as far as um, the uh, Belgium coast just yet. But that's coming. However, the big battle is going to take place not in um, Munich. Um, the French forces that are in Alzac, they're not in conflict at the moment, so they can move units out of here. Five of these artillery, that's these, are going to go into the Ruhr, not on their own, because they can't do that anyway on their own. And one of these planes, in fact the only plane from here, is going to go in there too. It's going to join the French forces that are over, over here. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five artillery and a couple of infantry. It's going to be expensive losses for the French. We, we do appreciate that. Um, but they will have air superiority. They will have the Brits following up later in the round and the Americans finally coming through even later in the round. But we may actually get um, the, a capture of the Ruhr region and I think it's six IPC um, value there which, um, given to one of those forces, if the French are still alive, um, would be very, very useful to them. Um, the conveyor belt from their purchases of infantry, artillery and planes will start off in Paris and roll through to Burgundy, and I think we're going to use the, front, the French forces to take the, the south um, route and the... the the Entente, the combined forces of Britain and America when they slowly come over, uh, and some French will filter up um, through Belgium and look after that. But the France mainly be looking after the south, everybody else looking after the north. It does, of course, mean that the, the French are relying on the Brits, and you can always rely on a Brit, to do their job, as they have said, um, up in India and Persia and Mesopotamia, and perhaps play a holding role there, so they can afford, the Brits this is, 
to purchase over in London and ship units across. Um, if they renegade on their deal, renegade or renege on their deal and uh, don't carry through and, and start reinforcing the, the north of, of France, uh, it could make things a bit tricky because the Germans are looking um, fairly strong. So the sooner we get into them, the better. OK, we've tidied up the regions. Now chips are all in the right place. Germans here, French here with their aircraft. This lot have already piled through. They're waiting for their next lot of orders. And obviously the, the button telling us that that is all that's left in Belgium. Still quite a good um, force. The battle's on the board. Let's have a look at it. Sometimes it's easier to sort of see it in, in terms of the dice. Obviously, air superiority for France moves all this artillery up to fours, and the two infantry will get moved up to twos. Obviously, this is going to be the expensive battle. It's, it's going to cost France a heck of a lot, but I think it's um, a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So, the French aircraft goes in first, and it fires at two, strafing the ground units, and misses, predictably. And the ten artillery units all at fours. They're going to be hoping for some heavy damage on those Germans. Ooh. And there we Oh, it looks quite good. There's three failures. I can see... Oh, no, two failures. Two at five. The rest are all at fours. So that's eight hits. That we quite like as Frenchmen at this stage of the game. Um, the two infantries going in at threes get another hit. So that's nine off the Germans. That is quite good. Uh, Germany have all this infantry, all this artillery, and they're all rolling at threes. About a dozen units. And it doesn't look that good. Um, one, two, three, and I'm seeing three more, six. So it's about, it's actually under, six, under 50%. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that didn't hit. So Germany have under-rolled there. France marginally over-rolled. That's the way the battle sw swings sometimes. Um, I shall reinforce the infantry, artillery, and one fighter plane into Paris. Move ourselves along. And next up will be the video number 12, when we will be looking at the Brits.